Little England, New Aurelia, Sri Lanka, presented by Holidays on Shoestrings. Driving through tea country, there were tea bushes as far as the eye could see. The road has hairpin bends almost all the way to New Aurelia, located at the absolute top of Sri Lanka at 1,900 meters and close to Sri Lanka's tallest mountain, Mount Pedro. It is Sri Lanka's green lungs with its tea gardens, mountains, waterfalls, famous golf course and much more. This mountain city is the place where you can best see the country's colonial past. New Aurelia is very British, but it is a typical Asian and Sri Lankan city as well. A strange mixture, I have to say. The climate here is very different from the tropical Indian Ocean coastline. It's like another country. It is cool and humid like European spring or autumn. No wonder the British felt like it was home here and to make it feel truly like home, they built British-style colonial villas and half-timbered houses. The Tudor-style red brick house is an old post office. Lake Gregory in the heart of New Aurelia is one of the significant tourist attractions with a beautiful walk path which we made full use of. Built by the governor William Gregory in 1873, it was said to be used for water sports and recreational activities during the British rule. About a 10 minute drive from Lake Gregory brought us to the Sita temple, an important one in Hindu mythology. Ravana, king of Lanka, kidnapped Sita, the wife of Lord Rama, and hid her in several locations. The Sita Amman temple was built on one of the sites where she was held captive. It is believed that she used the stream and meditated by the rocks along it. One of the most interesting points of the site is the large footprint by the stream on the rocks beside the temple, said to be Hanuman's when he appeared to save Sita. The temple is a small, quiet, peaceful site to visit. Driving to Hagala Botanical Garden, we were disappointed to find it closed to the public. Returning, we called a halt at a strawberry farm and what a fun time it was. The farm was spread over a very large area and impossible to walk through due to the distance and the steep roads. So the farm management arranged a tractor tour of the strawberry fields for us. On the trail, we passed row upon row of vegetables, explored the polytunnels, indulged in the experience learning the life of the farmer and the cultivation process of strawberries, and at the end of the tour, treated ourselves to eating and drinking strawberry products. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and press the bell icon.